4.2 operating system. An operating system is an example of system software. The purpose of operating system is to allow the users to interact with the hardware. The example of operating system include Windows, Linux, Mac OS for PCs, and iOS, Android, uh, BlackBerry OS for the mobile phones. Well, now let's discuss the features of operating system. So here is a list of eight features that you need to know. So the first feature is called the providing an interface. So this feature allow us to interact with the physical hardware. Second feature is called the managing files. This feature help us to create, save, retrieve and print files. Next feature is called managing peripherals. So this feature enable all attached hardware to function properly. Next feature is called managing memory. So this feature allow the computer system to move things in and out of the memory when needed. Next feature is called managing multitasking. So this feature enables the computer to do several things at once. Next feature is called managing interrupts. So this feature alerts the user when an action is needed to be carried out. Next feature is uh, called the providing a platform for apps. So this feature en enables uh, cross language apps execution on a computer system. And the last feature is called managing users accounts. So this feature enables uh, computers to securely manage multiple accounts with password protections. Okay, so now we are going to discuss the first feature of operating system, which is providing an interface. The operating system allows the user to enter data and output the data to the user all through the interface. So there are three types of interfaces. First one is called the GUI or graphical user interface. Then we have the CLI or command line interface. And the last one is called NLI or natural language interface. Okay, so let's discuss the GUI or graphical user interface. A GUI is controlled by a pointer on, on the screen and uses a screen made up of windows, icons, and menus. Windows are the areas of the screen that are dedicated to applications or operating system tasks. Icons are small images that represent an application. They can be selected with the pointer to open an application. Menus provide options for tasks relating to the operating system or the open application. This is the easiest type of interface to use, but it takes up more memory and storage than a CLI interface. Okay, so now let's talk about the CLI or the command line interface. When using a CLI, user enter text instructions and the computer system provide result or feedback as text. Such interface is often found on older systems or for the devices with limited storage as it required little memory. Commands have to be typed precisely because the interface only recognizes certain commands. There is a usually a help menu for the user that lists and explains the acceptable commands. The last interface is called NLI or Natural Language Interface. This interface allows the users to interact with the system in a conversational manner using human language like English. The user types or speaks a command in natural language the system uses NLP to understand the input by breaking it into meaningful parts. The system performs the task or provides an answer based on the user input. Okay, so now let's compare the CLI with GUI. So in CLI, user type text commands to interact with the computer. Uh, it requires the knowledge of specific commands, harder for beginners, faster for advanced users to perform tasks, uh, uses fewer system resources like memory. Command must be typed in using correct format, spelling, and so on. And now let's see the GUI. So in GUI, user click on icons and buttons and uses menus to interact visually. Easier for beginners as it is intuitive and user friendly. Users are usually slower but more accessible due to the visuals. Require more resources because of graphical elements. And the last point is need a pointing device such as a mouse to click and launch an application. Next operating system feature is called managing files. This feature allows the creation of directories that the files can be stored within. It also allows the users to move, copy, delete files, name and rename files, plus many other actions such as sorting. This also allows the user to set permissions for reading, writing or executing files. Next feature of operating system is called managing peripherals and drivers. 
So this feature have several tasks related to the input and output devices. So the first task is device detection. So this feature identifies the connected devices automatically. For example, when you plug in a USB mouse, it automatically detects that device and then let you use that one. Next feature is a driver installation. So install drivers to communicate with the hardware. Example, installing, installing a printer driver. So whenever you connect a new the device uh, to the computer, so this feature uh, allow the operating system to install the drivers for that uh, device. So you can use it. Next one is input output management. So control the data flow between the computer and peripheral. Example, sending a documents to a printer. Uh, next uh, feature is resource allocation. So ensure the device do not conflict over system resources. For example, assigning USB port to a different device. And the last one is error handling. So messages, uh, messages error uh, with a preferred device. Example, alert when a keyboard is disconnected. So the next operating system feature is called the managing memory. So this feature also has several tasks. For example, the first task is memory allocation. So it allocates the sufficient memory for an application to run. For example, when you open a program on your computer or on your mobile phone, so the operating system uh, allocate the memory for that program to run smoothly. Okay. Next feature is called the memory deallocation. So this feature frees up the memory when the tasks are complete or for example, when you close the application, okay? And then we have the creation of virtual memory. So uh, use this disk space when the RAM is full. So this is also the job of memory management to create a, uh, the virtual memory when the RAM is full and you open a new application, okay? And the last one is memory protection. So prevent the programs for, from interfering with each other's memory. Next feature of operating system is called managing multitasking. Multitasking allows an operating system to run multiple tasks or programs at the same time. Operating system does this by managing the CPU time and memory to ensure each program gets the resources it needs. Multitasking lets users switch between programs like browsing and editing without closing the programs. Next feature of operating system is called managing interrupts. An interrupt is a signal sent to the processor to tell it that something needs its attention. The operating system decides which interrupt to run and then performs the action required. After the interrupt is dealt with, the system resumes its normal task. Tax operating system feature is called providing a platform for running application. So this is the job of operating system to provide the necessary environment for application to run smoothly. It acts as a bridge between the application and the hardware, ensuring the program can use system resources, for example, CPU, RAM, hard disk, etc. Uh, the operating system ensures the application works properly by managing the software dependencies and compatibility. As you can see in the picture, that the application software is running on top of the, uh, the operating system, and operating system is running on top of the hardware. So whenever the application software needs some hardware resource, they request the operating system. So it's the job of operating system to fulfill the request of the application software. Well, the last feature of operating system is called managing user account. So most computer needs a user to set up an account. The operating system manages user logins, password, and permission for the system security. Operating system allows the different users to have personalized setting and preferences. And the last thing is operating system keep each user's file and data separate from each other.